Do you know anyone who has been cyberbullied or is currently being cyberbullied? Have you yourself ever been the victim of cyberbullying or have you ever been the cyberbully? Cyberbullying is a major problem in today's society and continues to become worse as teens no longer feel safe or welcome even in the comfort of their own home. Cyberbullying is the use of electronic communication to bully a person, typically by sending messages of an intimate, dating, or threatening nature. There is a number of ways you can bully a person using an electronic. Some different and well-known examples would be cyber-stalking, online humiliation, harassing, impersonating, website creating, and improper use of images. Two of the more common ways of cyberbullying would be website creating and improper use of images. A huge difference between regular bullying and cyberbullying is that it can and will happen at any time and any place. Cyberbullying happens 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. It can happen at school, the mall, and even the place you feel most loved, your home. As a victim, you never feel safe because you're being tormented whenever the bully feels like it. Cyberbullying can happen to anyone, a person who is considered popular, or a person considered a loser, or a female, or a male, anyone really. Most believe that girls are more likely to get cyberbullied, and that is true. Girls bullying often differs from that of boys because girls in general have different ways of interacting with one another. Boys tend to be more aggressive than girls and are often more involved in physical bullying. However, that does not mean it will not happen to guys. Unfortunately, cyberbullying or any other kind of bullying can cause suicide. Parents who see a serious bullying problem should talk to school authorities about it and perhaps arrange a meeting with the bully's parents. If a person is displaying these symptoms, talk to them about your concerns and get them the help they need right away. Everyone meet Megan. Megan was a 13-year-old young girl who deals with depression and weight issues. One day, Megan was on MySpace and a boy who she did not know but that was very cute had messaged her. She was very flattered considering the fact that she did not get much attention from boys. The two had talked for a couple of weeks and shared very personal information under the careful watch of Megan's mother. One day the boy told her he decided he wanted to stop talking to Megan. Megan became very depressed. Days later, the boy and other kids began bullying Megan online. And days after that, he had told her the world would be a better place without you. That day, on October 17, 2006, Megan took her life. After her death, her parents had discovered the boy's account had been made to harass Megan by her ex-best friend. Suicide should never be an option. No matter how bad a situation might be, you should never ever consider suicide. Talk to a parent, a sibling, a counselor, or a teacher. If you are a friend of the victim and is seeing symptoms of thoughts of suicide from the victim, tell a teacher. If you stay quiet, you are part of the problem. Ways to prevent cyberbullying are blocking, deleting, or unfollowing the bully. Another helpful tip would be not responding to the bully and just plain ignoring them. Always save the evidence and show them to a parent or teacher. If you witness someone getting cyberbullied, tell an adult. After so many kids have been affected by cyberbullying, the states have become more alert and have implemented more laws against cyberbullying. The penalties for cyberbullying, depending on the state and apl applicable laws, consequences could go anywhere from civil penalties such as school suspensions and or expulsions to jail time. If you are the victim of cyberbullying or witness someone being cyberbullied, tell an adult. If you are tempted to call someone names over the internet, stop and think. If you or anyone around you is having thoughts of suicide, get the help that you or they need. If you are part of the problem, stop and do what is right. Together we can stop bullying and end it forever.